Hello friends. Today we're going to discuss about integration of a function of complex variable. This is lecture number nine of complex analysis. So I have given the link of the previous lectures uh, that I have made already, and uh, you're going to get those link in description box. So if you want to watch those, then you can go through. And this is for BSc physics students. Okay. So today let's learn about integration of complex function uh, of a function of complex uh, variable okay so before we start please subscribe the channel hit the thumbs up button so uh, also share with your friends and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified when new video will be uploaded if you want to follow me on insta this is my insta id you can follow me on instagram okay and uh, if you are a student of Dubuger university then this topic that we're going to discuss today is included in the fourth semester okay so now let's start now you see integration uh, integration of a function of a complex number so we're going to discuss how to evaluate that integration so here f of z is a function of complex number so we are supposed to integrate it from a to b suppose and let me write here dz okay so here z is equal to uh, this is a complex number so x plus i y so it's supposed to be y okay so let me take a question uh, let me uh, let me explain with the help of an example let me take a question from mathematical physics book uh, by Aeschylus. that's a very popular book so you know i think uh, let me take a question from that book then it will be easier to have uh, easy, easier to explain uh, to you know uh, and it will be easier to understand okay so now let us uh, take a question uh, this is the question here you see i have taken it from hkras mathematical physics book so now what is the question integrate so we need to integrate this function f of z which is the x square plus i x y this is the function of complex variable z here z is nothing but this right so we need to integrate it from this point uh, from the point a which is 1 comma 1 and to the point b 1 sorry 2 comma 8 so we are to uh, you know integrate a from uh, sorry from a to b so here you see integration of complex variable it uh, may be part dependent okay so here parts are mentioned here and first we need to integrate it from straight line a b and then we need to integrate it along the curve which is x is equal to t and y is equal to t cube right so now let me go to the new slide uh, let me take the uh, let me copy this uh, question and let me go to the new slide okay this is the question so here you see uh, so this is the function that to be integrated and from the point this uh, 1 comma 1 to 2 comma 8 right along the curve uh, sorry along the straight line av and then we need to integrate it along the curve c which is x is equal to t y is equal to t q right so now let me solve this so solution let me write the given function first so here is the given function right so here i should write x okay uh, so now from this point we are going to integrate to point b 2 comma 8 from this to, uh, up to this point right so now you see first we're going to integrate it along the straight line a b so how to write the equation of a straight line passing through two given points so here you know this uh, thing i hope you know this that the equation of a straight line passing through two given points are given by is given by so suppose the equation of a straight line passing through two given points and the given points are suppose x1 y1 and x2 y2 then how to find the equation then the equation is given by y minus y1 and uh, y my y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1 this is the formula to find uh, to obtain the equation of a uh, line a straight line passing through two given points x1 y1 and x2 y2 so here we're going to take a the point a as x1 and b as uh, sorry here we're going to take this one as x1 y1 and this one we're going to take x2 y2 right in that way we're going to solve right so hope you have understood this now 
taking this x1 y1 x2 y2 uh, the equation of a b will be so y minus y1 y1 is here 1 and uh, y2 minus y1 y2 is 8 uh, and y1 is 1 and x2 minus x1 x2 is 2 x1 is 1 2 minus 1 then x minus x1 x minus x1 is 1 right so this is the equation now let me simplify this and if you simplify this then you're gonna have this and y is equal to 7x minus 7 plus 1 which is going to give you y is equal to 7x plus sorry minus 6 right so now here you see so now what we can do here you can see that uh, dy if you differentiate it if you differentiate this that's going to be 7 only and if you differentiate the 6 that's going to be 0 right so you're going to get 7 right so so dy is going to be 7 dx right uh, when we have differentiated 7x we have got 7 and 7 into dx so 7 dx and that's what we have got right so now you see uh, what is z so just one thing uh, let me tell you so we're gonna replace the y here by here yeah, we're gonna express y in terms of x that's why we're gonna integrate uh, from x1 to x2 right we're going to integrate the function from x1 to x2 because we're going to replace the y by uh, y, we're going to express y in terms of x so here you see uh, now let me tell you one more thing z is your 1 plus uh, uh, x plus i y i don't think i need this one thing uh, let me cut it okay so now you see uh, you can replace the y by this right so if you do so, if you do so then what are you going to have you're going to get this right now let us uh, differentiate to, uh, with respect to x then uh, just what we have done we have put the value of y here you can see so what i have done here i have put the value of y here and uh, if you differentiate and one more thing just uh, this is uh, here you can see this y is replaced by this value right so now if you differentiate z with respect to x then what are you gonna get you're gonna get this result right uh, if you differentiate x that's gonna be 1 and if you differentiate this uh, then that's gonna be 7 and there is i here okay so hope you have understood then it implies del z is equal to 1 plus 7 i dx sorry dz is equal to 1 plus 7 i into dx that's what we're gonna have so now we are to integrate uh, the function f of z uh, so along a b along the straight line a b so here so f of x uh, f of, sorry f of z is replaced by this uh, this this function here you can see uh, x square plus i x y right dz now we're going to replace the y as well okay let us replace this y by this value of y then we're going to replace dz also by this value of z uh, dz let us put here then what are we going to get we're going to get this right so we're going to get this right so now you see as we have expressed uh, this uh, in terms of uh, x only this y is replaced by this expression which is in terms of x only so that's why we're going to integrate from x1 to x2 only right so now let me go to the new slide right from x1 to x2 integration of fz dz now let me copy this and let me go to the next slide here is the new slide so we have got this result right so that is what we have got now you see this is the integration of the given function now let us simplify this right so we are to integrate it from this uh, from a point a to point b that is x1 to x2 only because i have expressed this result in terms of x only okay i am telling you again so now this. just uh, let me simplify this now let me multiply this two then what you will get uh, uh, just uh, let me write this things if we multiply and if we take uh, the constant terms outside the integral then we gonna get this expression now multiply these two as well right 
that's what we have got right so now here you see then integration of x square integration of x square that's going to be x cube by 3 right so we are integrating from 1 to 2 because the x1 is 1 and x2 is uh, 2 here you can see clearly right and then plus you can multiply this i with the terms inside the bracket then you're gonna get this result because i i that's gonna be minus one right then integration of this uh, if you multiply these two then what you're gonna have then you're gonna get this result you can see right now if you integrate this then x square is integration of x square uh, x cube by three and integration uh, from one to two minus uh, this six should be multiplied with this one as well then uh, what we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get this result then x is integrated then x square by 2 right from 1 to 2 right now let's put the upper and lower limit okay and let us simplify this and so from here you can do yourself if you put 2 here and 1 here uh, if you put 2 then you're gonna get 2 cube and 1 then 1 cube the 1 cube is simply 1 you know these things i hope uh, being a student of bsc physics so this thing should be known to you right so just let me write the result now so here you can see just simplify so what gonna be the result so after doing all calculations we come to this point so this is the answer or you can take minus sign common then you can write, get this answer right so this is our answer so hope you have understood now let us integrate it uh, you know along the curve here you can see this is the curve along this curve let us integrate the given function along this curve okay now let me go to the new slide okay so what was our given function this is the given function let me write the function again so we are gonna integrate it along the curve this x is equal to t y is equal to t cube so now if x is equal to t and y is equal to t cube that means if x is equal to t then y is equal to t cube then t can be replaced by x then y is equal to x cube this is the curve this is the equation of the curve right so hope you have understood this uh, this is very simple right then what we can say that uh, the, the curve can be represented using this equation by this equation and we're going to integrate it from the same point a to b right so here you can see z is again this x plus i y and uh, y can be replaced by x cube right y can be replaced by x cube and this y is replaced by x cube then uh, differentiate with respect to x and doing so we're going to get this result uh, derivative of x is simply 1 and derivative of x cube is this 3x squared right so now here you see it implies dz is equal to this 1 plus i 3x squared into dx now the function f of z it should be integrated along the curve c right and uh, so uh, we're gonna express the function in terms of x only that's why that's why we're gonna integrate it again from 1 to 2 that is x1 to x2 right so that's that is the function here you can see so function is uh, as the function is uh, f of z is x square plus i x y here this y gonna be replaced by x cube right this y gonna be replaced by x cube then we're gonna get x to the power 4 right so hope you have understood this then let me write here so that's uh, so this y is replaced by x cube then we can get so we are to integrate it from 1 to 2 right x1 to x2 1 to 2 so that's what we're gonna get this is x to the power 4 and now replace uh, so x into the value of y is multiplied so we get x to the power 4 right hope you have understood this now replace del z sorry dz by this value so this uh, dz is replaced by this value right so hope you have understood now let us simplify this okay now let us simplify and integrate it it's very simple right so 
so what i have done here i have multiplied these two then we have got this so here you see from these two terms uh, this one three x to the power four i three x to the power four i three x to the power four and i x to the power four that's going to be uh, i four x to the power four right if you add these two and then if you integrate these terms like this way you can do this way right then what are you gonna get now integrate all this uh, so now terms. let me copy this uh, last result let me go to the next slide okay so here you see this is the last uh, result we have got so let me write it here again so this is the integration of this uh, function f of z with respect to z along the curve c so now let us integrate x square that's gonna give you x cubed by 3 so from 1 to 2 then similarly i into 4 and integration of x to the power 4 that's gonna be x to the power 5 by 5 and 1 to 2 then again x to the power 6 uh, if you integrate it x to the power 7 by 7 right and put the upper and lower limits then the result gonna be this so from here i think i don't need to explain so what will be the result so let me calculate all these things then this is our result here you can see so this is the result final result you can or you can take the minus sign common then this answer should be something so like this is the answer so that's how we can uh, you know so hope, uh, you have understood how to you know, integrate a function of complex variable so in the next video we're going to solve one more problem from the same book Eskera's mathematical physics so then after that okay after the next video uh, we're gonna start another topic okay so before we starting new topic uh, before we start a new topic uh, we're gonna solve one more problem in the next lecture okay so hope you have understood this please uh, subscribe the channel hit the thumbs up button also share with your friends and inspire me to create new contents and uh, don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified when new video will be uploaded okay so always hit the bell icon okay so thank you see you in the next video bye bye